Welcome to the Fermi Lab Trail. Good afternoon, everybody. I am coming to you today from the city of Warrenville, Illinois. Uh, I was in the area because I needed to reshoot part of the Aurora Branch, uh, the Illinois Prairie Path Aurora Branch, uh, which I just finished. So while I was down here, I wanted to explore uh, the Fermi Lab Trail. So we are right over here. So it looks like we got to cross the street and then cross again, and then to make our way up to the Fermi Lab area. Okay, so here's what a map of it looks like. Uh, we're right at this intersection here, uh, Butterfield Road, which is, I guess, uh, Illinois Route 56, and Batavia Road. Uh, so we're the blue triangle here. Uh, so we're just going to go right on up. It's somewhere in here you enter Fermilab territory, and then it looks like we just take that to the end and then turn around and make our way back. So some of the questions I have about the Fermilab trail include things like, is uh, can you get on that property during a weekend? Are there any specific hours that uh, you have to be there between in order to gain access to the property? I assume they have security there 24 seven. I just don't know if they're letting people ride on the trails bright and early all the way to sunset. So I guess we're gonna find out. Okay, it looks like a uh, Fermilab property must start uh, like right around here. There's a big Fermilab uh, archway. I see like a little security kiosk. So some of my questions are answered now. It's open 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. November to March and 6 to 8 April through October. So it should be open till 8 o'clock today. Okay, so let's check out the rest of the trail. Okay, so just after that sign, we come across this barrier here, bike path closed. It says check and required. It's showing this way for the bike path, so uh, let's head in that way. Okay, so we are back on the trail here. Uh, you do have to go past security. You have to give them ID, and then they're going to give you like a name tag sticker. And then, uh, you know, I'm just going to follow it to the end of the trail here. As we continue towards the end here, that looks like there's a bunch of houses here. I actually did not expect that. I don't know if this is all owned by the federal government or if there are just private residences here, but yeah, I did definitely did not expect that. One of the things I remember reading about this Fermilab trail uh, was in fact that they do have buffaloes on the land here. I think I might have actually come across some right over this way. Okay, we're getting closer to some buildings here. Uh, there is a uh, paved trail here, but a non-public area, do not enter. So it looks like we won't be going that way. Okay, we're definitely amongst the buildings now. It's an interesting looking one here. 
sculpture over there. Okay, so as we get closer to Wilson Hall over here, it looks like the original trail went uh, right up to the front of it, up and then back over, and then continued on the way. They do have, uh, looks like somewhat of a detour here. It looks like they got a bunch of construction going on. So we're gonna hop on the trail over this way over here. Okay, so it has been uh, a few years, maybe three, four years since I've been down over here. My brother and I would come to Fermi Lab once a year when uh, WGN and Tom Skilling, the weather guy there, uh, they had their uh, annual severe storm seminar, which was cool. I think we did that for about 10 or 12 years. And the Wilson Hall building over here always reminded me of the Contemporary Hotel uh, at Disney World. Okay, so as you saw, the trail kind of ends up being a shoulder on this road here. Uh, looks like if we were to continue down, the exit to Kirk Road is over here. And uh, over here, there's a sign that says Bike Path to Kirk Road. And it looks like that follows the track we're following on all trails. Uh, so we are going to turn left here and follow this trail. Okay, so I definitely backtracked on the trail according to all trails, although I'm not entirely sure that that is correct when you're heading uh, this way. They might actually want you to ride uh, on this side here because this is one way this way and one way this way. Looks like uh, the construction is they're building on uh, more. It looks like this area here. I don't recall that being here the last time I was here. take a moment to recognize old glory waving in the breeze as she should so they have this entire area closed off due to construction you can see construction equipment over this way I believe this is where they used to have a bunch of flags Wilson Hall here. Okay, so I am on my way back uh, to Warrenville, uh, cutting through the rest of Fermi Lab property here. It's a cool building. Trail quality is good. Uh, it looks like uh, I asked the security guard about the buffaloes and he said uh, you could go all the way up to the fence but there's no way to get closer to see them.
All right, so we are back in Warrenville here. Again, uh, at this intersection here, uh, Butterfield Road and Batavia Road. We uh, followed this path all the way to Fermi Lab. As far as parking goes, uh, again, we're right here. Where I decided to start this trail from was the St. James Farm Forest Preserve. So I'm parked in this parking lot over here. Uh, it was also my intent today to ride this loop, uh, but they have some big event going on. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get that done today. So then it's just a matter of uh, hopping on the Aurora branch to make your way to the star right here. My impressions of the trail are very good. Uh, it's definitely a unique trail. I've never had to give ID before in order to ride a bike trail. So that definitely makes it unique. The Fermi Lab grounds are really cool. Uh, the buildings, uh, there are several of them which look pretty cool. The quality of the trail was uh, really good. Uh, there's definitely some places they could patch up, but other than that, it's definitely rideable. So let me know what you think of the trail in the comments below. Uh, if you've ridden this trail and you have a favorite spot on it, definitely let me know where that favorite spot is. Uh, we'll definitely be riding this trail again in the future. As always, if you enjoy this content please be sure to share like and subscribe it definitely helps the channel grow that's all i got today from the fermi lab trail i'll catch you on the next ride do you have a trail recommendation for me let me know in the comments below